Hey, today we're gonna find out why you need a will right now from expert and attorney, Monica Edwards. Investing Secrets with Kevin Attride, empowering you to succeed financially. I'm Kevin Attride and I'm on a mission to help you with investing secrets, empowering you to succeed financially, changing your financial perspective and growing your wealth in good times and in bad. And when the next crisis comes, those prepared to weather the storm will achieve great success while the world melts with fear. Why do I need a will? So a will ensures that your assets um, go to the individuals that you want your, your assets to go to when you pass away. Um, it also avoids uh, family disputes. You outline in your will who gets what and how they get it. And so that will avoid also family disputes. Uh, many times family members will say that you said I would get this or I would get that. Well, when you have it outlined in your will, that avoids that. Um, it also avoids unintended um, beneficiaries. If you don't have a plan written down, then the state has a plan for you. And many times that will not be the same people that you wanted to get your, your assets. So having, um, having those instructions outlined for the person who's managing your estate is really important. Also, who do you want to manage your estate? That's crucial, right? Um, who do you want to take care of your, your, last, um, your last will and testament and your wishes? So making sure you name that executor in that will is, is important. Another really important thing about a will that you, there's no other document that you can do this in it except for the will. And that is naming a guardian for your children. No other document can you do that. So if something happens to you, make sure that you um, outline who you want to take care of your children in the event of your passing. You do that in a will. Should one establish a living trust? That depends on one's goals. Um, it depends on one's assets. Uh, so I would say that yes, for those who maybe have assets in a different state than where they reside because it avoids um, multiple probates, I would say yes for individuals who are concerned about um, becoming incapacitated and not wanting their loved ones to go to court to manage those assets for them to do a conservatorship because that person that they name as trustee will automatically step in to um, handle those affairs. Uh, revocable Living Trust is a great way of doing that. I would say yes uh, to a revocable living trust if they're concerned about probate and wanting to avoid probate. Uh, if they want their affairs to remain private, uh, a revocable living trust is an, an outstanding vehicle for that. And there are more investing secrets that are quite powerful for you to build and maximize your wealth. As a matter of fact, I've created a free guide to help you to be more effective in your investing journey. It's called the Top Investing Hacks the Exclusive Rich Are Not Telling Us. And I want you to take action right now by clicking the link in the description below. I want you to have this exclusive access so that you can understand the strategies and the tactics the rich use to maximize and grow their wealth. All right, it's time for you to experience financial freedom. The information contained in this episode are opinions not to be used as individual guidance. As always, consult your own financial team for your investment decisions.